I wanted to go on a little mini adventure. I temporarily closed the shop. I'm kind of upset about it, honestly. Time for something different. Let's try something new. I really don't think they're that bad. Please look at what is remaining of these. <laughs> So really quickly before we get into today's vlog, which I hope you guys enjoy, I wanted to give a big thank you to friends of the channel Skillshare for sponsoring today's vlog. I am definitely someone who loves personal growth and diving further into my creativity, exploring new skills, and one of my favorite resources for that is Skillshare. They are an awesome online learning community where you can learn from other creatives. They have thousands of classes in so many different categories, whatever floats your boat. They They've got entrepreneurship, freelance, they have classes where you can learn how to start your own business, photography, web development, social media, the list goes on. And these are ad-free classes, you guys, so it's curated specifically for learning. They're short lessons, hands-on projects, so it's really fun. And the class that I recommend to you guys this month that looks really interesting to me is called Creating Your Dream Career, Uncover and Apply Your Creative Strengths. And this class is by Holly Coley Murchison and you guys can actually try out Skillshare for free. The first 1,000 of you guys who click the link in my description box below will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. And honestly, it's just really cool to be able to learn from fellow creatives and take the classes with other creatives and that community aspect of Skillshare. It's really awesome to have, especially along your journey of growth or creativity or entrepreneurship, your startup, whatever it is that you're working on, it's just great to have. So definitely go check that out down below and now on to the rest of the video. Okay, hello you guys. Long time no vlog. I feel like I haven't seen you guys or talked to you guys in a few weeks now. Sometimes I get in these little vlog ruts where I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. What do I have to say? And I know it's just me overthinking and it could be super casual and it would be fine definitely something I'm working on with myself right now but I'm happy to be back I hope you guys are doing well I definitely did not do much to my hair before turning on the camera but it's okay I don't care we're friends right we're cool hold on I'm gonna sit you guys on let me sit you guys on this thing here okay so I am so excited because I'm currently working on a really fun little update and upgrade to my small business. So if you guys are new here, I do have a small business that I recently started back in November of 2020. And it's been a few months now and I feel like I've learned a lot and I have really pinpointed where I can improve and be more efficient. Why am I out of breath? So what I actually decided to do, and I don't know if this is a super common thing that people do or small businesses do, but I am actually gonna be taking a little bit of a break. I temporarily closed the shop. So if you guys go to the website, you'll see that it's just a landing page right now because I am gonna be taking a little bit of a brief break to make these updates and changes and it's going to be easier to just kind of have the shop closed temporarily while i do that um, i do plan on being much more active on the instagram page just to keep you guys updated and let you know like what's going on behind the scenes and the different changes that are going to be happening and it's really going to allow me to make those changes while also replenishing inventory and actually finally giving myself enough time to make bigger batches because I feel like I did launch a little bit sooner than I should have and I say that only because I feel like I could have waited a little bit longer so that I could get my inventory to be a bit larger but honestly I was like you know what let me just go ahead and do it I felt like I was overthinking it maybe a little bit. I kind of wanted to just jump in and see what happened. And now that I have this more concrete insight as far as how much inventory I should have, that has just been so helpful for me to understand what I need to do better as a small business. Because I really don't like being sold out. I do feel like my inventory needs to be a little bit bigger. So that's just one of the things that I'm going to be working on in this little time off, this temporary close. And it is going to be like a relaunch essentially. Because 
there is a little bit of branding update that's going to happen. I've designed some new soap boxes that's going to make it much more efficient to pack up the soaps and have it just present. Oh, the heat just turned on. Sorry if you guys can hear that. But just have it present a little bit nicer where it would be packaging that you would see like in a retail store. So instead of me individually wrapping each soap which does take up a lot of time time that i could be spending making more soap i wanted to find a way to just be more efficient in that aspect so new soap boxes which i'm really excited about i just finalized the design it's taken me a little bit longer than i thought to just pin down a design because i can be so like i can just be such a perfectionist i added in all the little details and did all the copywriting and everything i've updated the logo a little bit so i'm really excited to share this with you guys um sorry i keep having to get up because my cat is i'm watching him play outside making sure he's not going anywhere but and just kind of updating my systems from behind the scenes from the back end of things and how things kind of flow and the process of everything again to just be more efficient so i'm really excited about these next few weeks and i am going to be sharing updates more on the instagram page and then we're going to be relaunching as soon as possible also one of the soaps the black soap the purifying soap that one i'm actually going to be reformulating i took it off the shop kind of like these past few months because i did want to reformulate it a little bit i wanted to improve the essential oil blend a little bit more because i noticed that it would kind of like fade out a little bit and not be as like potent i just basically wanted to improve the formula of that one a little bit so i took that one off the shop because i had planned on updating the formula on that one and then putting it back on the shop so there's that and then also this new soap that I've been just dreaming about that I'm really excited to launch with the relaunch. I'm also gonna of course be giving you guys some fun content here on the channel too of the updates and all of that. So what I'd like to do today actually is I have a form I need to fill out to send over to my soap box manufacturer printer people <laughs> who are going to print my soap boxes and i bought another table another stainless steel table to go out in the studio so i have a bit more surface a bit more workspace that was supposed to come a few days ago i don't know what happened it said it wasn't able to be delivered but that they're going to try again from amazon i don't know so maybe it'll come tomorrow i'm not sure but i'm excited for that definitely lots of good things coming very excited plus just like life stuff that i'm working on we making pancakes and a smoothie protein smoothie because i just got back from a walk and i'm hungry when we have my best work right here mm. okay so i just got back from a walk it is hot outside i'm hungry i just made a smoothie a protein smoothie and i'm gonna be making pancakes too because i made some pancake batter last night and it's really good and i want pancakes here's a pancake mix i got this recipe off of google um, and it's vegan and gluten-free and for the sweetener I used monk fruit sweetener. It has a little bit of cinnamon in it It's so good and it has ground flax seed. That's why it has little like speckles in it, but Let's go ahead and turn this on Okay, I made these kind of big but Very much excited. All right, they're all done Wow, look at those blueberries glisten I'm so excited for this right now, I'm so hungry. I wanted to go on a little mini adventure, not much of an adventure, honestly, I'm gonna be just going down the street to CVS, but um, I wanted to go see if they have like good fake nails. My nails are just short right now and I really wanna see if I can find some good stick on nails because I don't know, I just wanna do something a little bit fun. So I think I'm gonna do that today. It's Thursday, it feels like Friday. Like I wanna do something fun, so I'm gonna go do that. 
um, and take you guys along with me. I'm going to try and see if I can find some. Hopefully I can because I don't really... I don't want to spend the money on going to get my nails done, so I'm going to see if I can find some stick-on ones. So we're going to do that today. I went on a little walk this morning. That was really nice. I made a smoothie when I got back. I had some pancakes. I've been very much obsessed with pancakes recently. They're just so, they're very nostalgic for me. And I love that I was able to find a recipe that I can actually eat because of all my food sensitivities and gluten-free and all of that that I can't have. I'm also off of sugar right now, like processed sugar, and I've only been having um, like fruit sugar in moderation. But I've been really loving monk fruit sweetener. I don't know if you guys have heard of monk fruit before, but it's kind of like a stevia where it's a natural sweetener. It's basically low glycemic, and I think monk fruit is actually zero glycemic, so it doesn't have that like sugar reaction in your body, but it still tastes sweet. And it's all natural, and I put it in the pancakes, and I've been using it anytime I want something sweet, and it's really good. So that's what I've been having. My skin's been loving it. I don't get little red rashes on my elbow anymore, which I used to get when I would overdo it with sugar. But I've had to completely cut it out, but it's helped so much. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that right now, but Let's go see if we can find some stick on nails. And where, why did I even start talking about that? I don't remember. I made pancakes this morning. I put the monk fruit sweetener in it. They're vegan, gluten free, which I know sounds like it would be taste free, but it was really good actually. So I'll leave the link down below to that recipe if you guys want. I also shared it on my Instagram stories. So you guys probably already saw that if you are following me on Instagram and watch my stories. But if you're not, that's okay. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to, but you don't have to. Thanks for hanging out with me here. It's super warm today, but I feel like being comfy, so I'm just going to wear this. I'm going to be in the house most of the day since I already took my walk, had some outside time, my fresh air, my vitamin D, all of that. Speaking of vitamin D, I need to take my vitamins today. I haven't taken any. I forgot. I'm trying to be better about taking my vitamins. I'm just, I'm on this health kick. Anyways, okay, so... Let's have some fun today. I also have some work I need to do, but I want to have a little fun first. I'm going to treat myself. This, light, this lighting is not great. I feel like I'm already sweaty and greasy. I'm also getting more freckles. I'm developing, growing? How would you say that? I'm getting freckles. And both of my parents have freckles so at first i thought it was hereditary but now i'm like is it because i've been in the sun more this lighting is terrible hold on let me show you can you guys see like i have some under my eyes here especially this one under my eye i really like that one she's fun i like her Okay, let's go to CVS. I need to feed my cat first. Where do you go? I'm gonna go to CVS, okay? Oh. That's what I'm gonna do to go to the bodega. Brains. Okay. These are dirty. this stays okay let's go it honestly and truly feels like a Friday today and I love that because now the weekend is gonna feel longer I hope we can find some good press on nails truly because you know what I just Sometimes I get in these little situations where I have a little flare up with my nail biting 
and it's not it used to be a little bit worse I feel like I've gotten a lot better at being able to stop myself and have that like self-awareness of like okay I don't need to bite my nails right now I've done it since I was little just a little compulsive thing that I tend to do if I'm like stressed or overwhelmed or overthinking so it's not like an all the time everyday thing I feel like now it happens more rarely you guys can't even see me okay it's fine but I did have a little flare up with it and you know what that's okay that's okay I just think it'll be nice to see if I can oh you know who has press on nails is Ulta should I go to Ulta? Where's the closest Ulta? Maybe I should go to Ulta. Should I even check CVS? I feel like they're gonna have like the, not like the maybe the ones I'm looking for. I'm kind of upset about it, honestly, because my nails were so, they had grown out so well and they were thick and healthy and I was keeping them done. Like I like to do my own nails. I know that nail salons are open now for the most part, but I don't know. Now I'm like, I just want to do my own nails. Plus, I get sick of the same color really quickly, and to get my nails done that much is just not what I want to factor into my budget right now. So, so I've been having fun just doing my own nails, so let's try some press-on nails. You know what I mean? Time for something different. Let's try something new. And what if it looks good? You know? I do want them a little longer than where they're at right now. Is this a good color for me? Too light, kind of. These are so fancy. So since I decided to go to Ulta instead of CVS, which was much closer, um, Ulta was a little bit more of a drive and I thought I'd be back home really quickly, but I'm so hungry right now. And I'm next to a Whole Foods, so I think I'm gonna just grab a snack for the little drive back. Okay, why did that feel like the most exhausting thing ever? I'm so hungry. I got a snack from Whole Foods. I got this orange strawberry juice and just some cassava and cashew chips. I don't know. It worked. It helped. But I need food. Okay. So let me show you guys the nails. One is, oh, they're both by Kiss. One is the Gel Fantasy Collection and the other is Salon Acrylic natural so I'm excited to try these I definitely wanted like something neutral and nude ish this one I think I have to use glue but this one gives you the option to just like stick it on your nail without the glue I don't want the glue to mess up my nails you want to go outside you see gamma out there Oh, why did I do that? Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so I lined up the nails here for each hand, and I just did a little nail prep of my own nails. I did cuticle remover and just soaked them a little bit. It comes with these little adhesive sticker things. What do you think about the color? I think I'm gonna file them down, honestly. Like, not bad, just not my usual vibe you know okay so here's before I haven't done this hand yet after I mean 
I don't love the color. I feel like it blends in. But I don't know, it's not bad. Okay, so I just spent the past like 20, 25 minutes filing down the nails to a length and shape that I think looks good. What do we think? Are they cute? I feel like they definitely might come off kind of easily, but for now, I really like them. And the color is growing on me. At first, I didn't like the color. I really don't think they're that bad. I mean, close to the cuticle, you can kind of tell. But if you're not looking that close, it's kind of cute. So it's the next day. Please look at what is remaining of these. <laughs> I literally, so from the start of my nighttime routine, like washing my face, showering, putting on my pajamas, getting in bed, this is what was left. And I left these last few nails on to show you guys how much of a fail this actually was, but it's okay. And you can really tell up close too, like look at the cuticle. It just looks super fake, but it was a fun little thing to do. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys the next day what happened. So I think they looked a little cuter in the camera than they actually were now that I look at them the next day, but it's okay. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to rock the short nails. I'm going to rock the shorties until they grow back out. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Skillshare in the link down below. And I love you guys. I will see you very soon.